There'll be uh, lots and lots of new bicycles that are being prepared for the new year. Some will have stabilisers on, some won't have stabilisers on. Some people will make a New Year's resolution to get on the bike and do a bit of exercise after perhaps going a little bit too far over the festive period. But for one group, the start of the new year will perhaps see them engage with cycling in a way that they've never done before because they have to. 12 side, uh, cyclists are going to be riding a 1,000 miles in under two weeks. It's a challenge for John Hewitt and 11 of his family and friends. John is the chairman of the Wellingborough-based company Glazerite UK, and he's going to be doing a challenge for a very peculiar, well, particular, personal reason. And he's joined me in the studio to tell everybody about it. John, welcome to the studio this morning. Morning. Nice to have you in. Thank you. Tell me about Kelly, because Kelly is a very, very central part to this story. So um, for, for 23 years, um, Kelly was uh, happy-go-lucky, um, heavily involved in sport. Um, she played county cricket. Uh, she played for local football team. She played for a local hockey team. Um, she worked for me at the Glazerite UK group for four years after she left school. Um, walked around like she, she owned the place and and uh, she, 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 she was just a, a fantastic kid. I'm bound to say that because I'm a dad. Um, she changed her job um, and things started to go downhill. Um, she changed her job in uh, early 2017. Um, it came to uh, the middle of 2018 and she started suffering from anxiety and depression. Um, and the last six months of her life, uh, she went downhill rapidly. Um, to the point where on the 18th of December last year she took her own life um, and obviously that you know for, for anybody that that just kills you um, she was um, it, it was just totally it, well it just changes your life it rips your heart and soul out um, and uh, we, we've spent the whole of this year obviously we, we, we've put we've set up a, a charity called we mine and Kelly matters uh, in memory of Kelly um, because Ke Kelly's gone, but um, there's still a story to be told. Um, you, Ke Kelly's story will come out over the next kind of six, six to 12 months, I believe. Um, there's a lot of legal wrangling going on that I can't go into. Mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't straightforward. Um, it, is any suicide straightforward? I don't know. But, it, it, you know, there, there, there were circumstances surrounding, there were, you know, circumstances and reasons why she took her own life. Okay. Um, and we've spent the whole year uh, focusing on the charity, trying to focus on positive things because you need a reason to get out of bed at the end of the day. Um, and uh, and we've also spent the year learning because mental health issues, mental well-being, is a massive issue in this country now. It is a massive issue, and it's something that for many many years generations has been almost taboo if it happens yeah. you don't talk about it. you, you yeah. push it under the carpet because it it has the tendency to reflect back on the family itself now yeah. you're a big guy you're a big guy in, in 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 the local community this must have absolutely taken you off at the knees to lose your daughter in the circumstances that you did it, it, did, it, yeah. it must have had a huge impact on on your colleagues as well as the family too it, it's um there are over 500 people at the church for the funeral mm. um, and there's people still struggling now not just family and close friends there's, there's a lot of people still struggling how important is it to talk about the loss oh, it, of a loved one like it, that? I think it's 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 the single most important thing it's, it, it honestly I mean I, I was um, I was ignorant I'll admit that I was ignorant to mental health issues um, before this happened um, and it, and it if it, it it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter. Um, at, at the end of the day, everybody needs to talk. Um, there's there's no shame in saying that you're not okay. Um, you know, you, uh, we we had friends and family that actually saw Kelly on the Sunday. Um, uh, we were actually away in New York at the time, um, and and the comments were, "I can't believe that it's happened because she just looked normal." bubbly happy happy self yesterday and it does happen and it happens with an alarming frequency in younger people in particular yeah yeah, yeah. almost as though there's a there's a danger zone in terms of their age when this could happen yeah and for your family it did 
Yeah, I think I think the thing is, years ago when we were growing up, we didn't have the internet, we didn't have mobile phones with the technology that they've got now. So we had no choice but to talk to each other. Um, I think nowadays, for younger kids, it's very, very easy to hide behind your mobile phone, bury yourself in the internet, on social media, um, and not have to talk to people and not have to tell them how you're feeling. Do you have other kids? I've got another daughter, Amy, yeah. Does that mean you get super protective about Amy having lost Kelly? Are you constantly keeping an eye on her? Uh, her boyfriend, um, she's, she's got an amazing boyfriend, she's 21. Um, they're just about to buy the first house. Um, excuse me. Take your time. It's fine. No problem. Yeah, yeah. The answer is yes. <laughs> yeah. And that's part of the process where the family pulls together, yeah. comes together. Yeah. How important is it to do something that is constructive? Constructive in memory of, in your instance, in your case, Kelly. Yeah that you can move on with the family and friends as well as supporting organisations who in turn support either people who've been left behind because of the suicide of a loved one yeah. or indeed research into the whole process of suicide at whatever age. It's, 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 uh, I mean, for me, um, I, I, you know, we, we, she took her life on the 18th of December. The, um, the funeral, obviously, we had the worst Christmas, as you can imagine. Mm. Um, the funeral wasn't until early January. Um, uh, and you've got a choice. As, as, as a parent that's been left behind, you have a choice. You either, you either lay in bed uh, and feel sorry for yourself, which doesn't achieve anything, or you get up and, and make yourself be heard, make yourself be counted, and do something that's going to make a difference for other people. And your daughter would want that? Definitely, yeah. So you're doing it? You're doing something constructive. You're doing something yeah. positive. Yep. Um, you're getting on your bike and riding. Now, I've said you're a big guy. You are a big guy. When was the last time you were on a bike? Uh, more than 30 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got on a bike yet? Because, you, I mean, I've already said that you're going to be doing 1,000 miles with 11 of your mates. Yeah, the, the route is actually uh, around about 970 miles, but we wanted to make it the magic 1,000 miles, so I think we're going to be doing a, a few <laughs> you're spin rounds. do laps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I... I bought my bike at the beginning of November. Yeah. Um, I've been uh, in the gym doing circuit training, and there'll probably be people listening to this saying that I need to get in the gym, <laughs> to be fair. Um, I think the thing that's that for me is it's already started changing my lifestyle. Really? Uh, well, in terms of I'm now, you know, I, you get lazy um, with, with, with work, with just the way things are nowadays. Everybody's get, getting their food on the run. and you know, it's, it's it's just too easy to get a takeaway. We're very time poor as well, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, very extremely. Yeah, so you have extremely. to make the time to go and do the training, ready to to take on this challenge. Yeah, I mean, in all honesty, and there'll be people that that work for me that will probably listen to this. I haven't worked all year um, because I've been concentrating on the legal side of things sure. surrounding Kelly. Yeah, uh, and we're and focusing on the the uh, ch the charity. So um, how how much of this is about healing for you and the family in that case? Uh, it's definitely part of the healing process. I mean, I, you know, I've, I've got in my head Kelly will be when I cross that finish line, and, and, I, and I will be in pain. There's She'll no two ways about it. She'll be there. She'll be laughing her head off at me because um, <laughs> we were thick and thick as thieves for for 23 years. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it sh I'd like to think. I think uh, hopefully she'll be proud of the whole team, I'm and, sure. and that includes the support well, guys as well. We've got four support crews. So. Let's, let's talk about that team. You've got you've got eleven people that are going to be riding with you, so you, yeah. it, it, it's a dozen of you yeah. that are going to be on the bikes. Yeah. Um, are these colleagues? Are these family? Are they just mates from the pub? What, who are? It's they? a mixture of people. It's uh, people from Wellingborough Golf Club that are really good friends of mine, and, and Kelly uh, was a member for a short period of Wellingborough Golf Club. She she's you know that my friends and her mum's friends are. Uh, they're all kind of joined up in terms of she was, you know, everybody loved Kelly. It's a nice place, nice, um, nice, nice group of people. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's um, there's people, uh, my brother's doing it. Um, there's people, there's customers doing it. Um, and I've got some other people in the industry that were working. They're used to doing, um, they're, they're kind of tuned into these bike rides. I've got a very, very good friend uh, that lives in the Midlands. Um, 
he's got his own charity he raises money for um, a kids hospice in West Brom um, and uh, and he's done seven bike rides the last one in June he did from Russia back to the UK Russia to the UK from, from the Russian border oh this will um, be very easy in that yeah, case so he's, he's actually managing the ride he, he'd just turned 60 and he said that's my last one um, and, and I've got him managing the ride for us so we've got bags of experience in there the riders not necessarily so but the people that are looking after us have got all the experience well so. it's going to be uphill down dale you're doing it in august of next year so hopefully yep. the weather will be kind to you but you've, hopefully. you've got the hills uh, both to, to go up and then to go down again yep. as well clearly you'll all be drawing strength from each other who are you raising money for because this is a fundraiser as well, well as a statement we're, we're raising money for we mine and kelly matters um and what we do with that money is we pass it on to organizations like mind um, we've hooked up with uh, one particular local branch of Mind in Rushton. Um, they've got a very good CEO um, called um, Sherry Adams. And uh, what we want to do, there, there's, we've raised about 20,000, just over 20,000 this year. Um, we're aiming to raise 50,000 on the bike ride next year. There's other events, there's a Rust Bucket rally going on next year in memory of Kelly. Okay. Um, is that Cars so, Rust Bucket? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, and there's other people that are, that are, are doing, uh, got events planned for next year. So we're hoping to raise a significant amount of money next year. And, and one of the, the main things we want to do is, is, is kind of set up a project that gets somebody into schools in the county to talk to kids uh, and, uh, and, and raise their awareness. And, and also, you know, get, just get them talking because like I said, it, it, it's it is acceptable for you to say that you're not okay and, mm. and i did a speech um, a very short speech at the end of the the last term uh in the middle of the year so july uh at a local school uh, the school that kelly went to um and i think out of 190 odd kids in the school year i think over half of them mm. had been referred for mental health issues and that is the point it's about getting the logjam broken. It's yeah. about getting people to talk, yeah. to share their experiences, yeah. to know that they've got somebody to reach out to if they are feeling bad, not to just internalise it. And That's we're right. very good at doing that. Oh, we're extremely good at it, yeah. It's about it, it's breaking a British that. thing, I think, mm. to be honest. I, I really do think it's a British thing. Um, but, uh, you know, I've spent this year, I'm quite happy to tell people I'm not OK. I've had the worst year of my life. Uh, Christmas, undoubtedly, this year... It's going to be very difficult. Yeah, it will be, yeah. Are you treating yeah. it as just another day until you've got the bike ride out of the way? I'm trying not to think. I know this sounds daft, and I know that we're thinking about the, the bike ride and we've started training. I'm not actually thinking too much about Christmas Day itself at the moment. Um, we've got the anniversary coming up the week before. Of course. Um, it's going to be so. an, an understandable time of emotional pressure for yeah. you and the family. Yeah. It's good that you've got something to look forward to, to focus on, yeah. to nail, if yeah. you like, and that is the bike well, ride now. <laughs> as well. And you've got to get the work done too. I've got to get the work done, yeah. Get the work yeah. done, get the bike out, get everything ready, 11 people riding with you. Yeah. How can people support you, John? What, what do people need to do? Because there's a financial side to this, but it, it just it occurs to me that from the power of what you've just said, and I understand your emotion. I understand you getting teary. People will be listening to this, and they will be getting teary right now as well. People can support the, the, the effort that you're making, and it doesn't have to be financial. They just have to get talking. Absolutely, yeah. This, this, it's not just about money. It's about... It's, uh, I could have jumped out of a plane. I, I sat there for, for hours on end thinking, how can, I, how can I personally best serve Kelly's memory? Um, and I could have jumped out of a plane, that would have been over in five minutes. I don't think it would get the media cover coverage that something like this event mm. will hopefully get, and you've been good enough to, to kind of, um, or, or, you know, already get us in front of the, uh, in front of the microphone. Um, it, it's, it's, it, it, for me, we've got, we've got 12 people. I, I expected to do this ride on my own. Um, and I mentioned it to a couple of people, and the next thing, there's five or six people, then there's 12 people, then I've got four people that have joined, because you can't do it without a support crew. So I've got four guys that are actually going to drive up to um, Wick uh, and be there for when we get there on the Saturday. Um, and they're all giving their time up for free. Everybody's paying their own costs um, for the hotels and, and food and everything else. So, so every penny we raise, we've, we've raised a, a, a 
a significant amount of money commercial sponsorship. Is, is there a Just Giving website or something like that? Is there what, sorry? Is there a Just Giving website or, or something there's like a, that? There, there's, a, a, there's a Virgin Money Giving page. Um, the details of that are on the We Mind and Kelly Matters website. We Mind uh, and, and Kelly, Kelly Matters. Matters, yeah. Okay. Um, and and every, all the details, and, and there are links through. There's a video on there about the ride. Are you going to come um, back and talk to us before August of next year? Absolutely, yeah. And hopefully I'll be a lot slimmer as well. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be th- thighs like tree trunks. I mean, they're not far off being tree trunks already, but <laughs> toned thighs. And, and the, abs are, the abs will be there. The pecs will be there. You, he'll be ready to go, I promise you. John, it's a real pleasure for, for, for me to talk to you and to, to be able to get that story out. Pleasure is a strange word when we're talking about the subject. Yeah. You said you were talking about you were going to do the ride on your own. You were never going to go and do the ride on your own because no. you would have had Kelly on your shoulder and she'll be there in August when you do the ride tomorrow, yeah. Yeah. Uh, next year. Good luck for the preparations. Thank you. Thanks. Good luck for the 18th. Good luck for Christmas. Yeah, thank you. And we'll see you in a few months' time, all right? Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Thank you. Take care. Cheers. Uh, yeah, genuinely, it was a real pleasure to talk to uh, John Hewitt and meet him and to uh, tell the story of Kelly, uh, John's daughter, who sadly took her life uh, nearly a year ago, uh, and in whose memory this uh, tremendous 1,000-mile bike ride for 12 riders, including John, uh, will be taking place. We will gear up with him, and we will have a chat before he gets uh, to that particular ride, and we hope that he has good weather for it all the way to and fro.